Hey there, young adventurers! Welcome back to our channel! Today, we've got something super exciting in store for you. We're going on a thrilling journey into the wild where we'll have some jaw-dropping close encounters with amazing animals. That's right, get ready for an adventure of a lifetime as we dive into the fascinating world of exploring the wild, close encounters with animals. Monkey Monkeys can be divided into old world and new world monkeys and include ground-dwelling animals like baboons. Shark Whale sharks are the largest type of shark with a length of 40 feet, their mouths are 5 feet wide, and they give birth to live young. Zebra Zebras are considered to have white coats with brown or black stripes, but they have black skin under their white coats. Gorilla Gorillas are social animals that live in groups numbering from 5 to 10 members. Their leader is a male known as a silverback. Walrus Walruses can be as long as 11.5 feet and weigh up to 1.5 tons. They use their tusks to pull themselves up onto land or ice from cold waters. Leopard Leopards are large spotted cats that are native to Africa and Asia. There are a total of nine recognized subspecies of leopards. Wolf Wolves can have hunting territories as large as 1,000 square miles. Their prey includes deer, bison, elk, moose, beavers, hares, and rodents. Antelope Antelope are even toad-hoofed mammals. There are a total of 91 known species referred to as antelopes, but they are not taxonomically related. Bald Eagle The bald eagle has a wide range that spans from Alaska in the west to Labrador Island in the east, from northern Canada to northern Mexico. Jellyfish Jellyfish have bodies that are 95% water. They do not have hearts or brains, but have a nervous system that detects light. Crab Most of the time, crabs walk from side to side, however, some species, like the common spider crab, can move forward and backward. Giraffe Adult giraffes can be as tall as 18.7 feet. Giraffes eat 16 to 20 hours a day and can consume up to 30 pounds of food daily. Woodpecker The term woodpecker refers to several different bird species, but their main characteristic is that of a strong bill used to penetrate trees for food. Camel Camels with one hump are known as dromedaries, while camels with two humps are known as Bactrian camels. Koala Koalas are marsupials, meaning that they give birth to underdeveloped live young who live in pouches until they are mature enough to leave. Owl Owls are nocturnal birds of prey. They can be as large as the great horned owl, 900 to 2500 grams, or as small as the elf owl, 45 grams. Tiger the Bengal tiger is a tiger native to Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and India. It is a large tiger, weighing between 308 and 490 pounds. Bear There are eight species of bear in the world, and they live in habitats ranging from South America to North America and Southern and Eastern Asia. Blue Whale the blue whale is the largest animal on earth and is considered the largest animal ever to have existed. It is 100 feet long and weighs 200 tons. Coyote Coyotes are a wide-ranging canine species that have a diverse diet, eating anything from moose and bison to lizards and insects. Coyote tracks are similar to dog tracks. 
chimpanzee. The chimpanzee is the human being's closest living relative. 98.8% of its DNA is similar to that of humans. The chimpanzee is an endangered species. Raccoon. Raccoons are nocturnal animals that are solitary, except for the months between January and June, their mating season. A raccoon came to the river and found a fish to eat. Lion. Lion cubs are reared in small groups. They are born with brown spots on their fur, which fade over time. The lion struggled to get out of his cage. Crocodile. Crocodiles are cold-blooded aquatic reptiles that live in tropical areas of the Americas, Australia, Africa, and Asia. Crocodiles. Dolphin. Dolphins are considered to be toothed whales, evolving from mammals that emerged in the fossil record 50 million years ago. Dolphins are very intelligent animals. Elephant. Elephants are the largest living land mammals and are two different species, the African elephant and the Asian elephant. Elephants usually only sleep two or three hours a day. Squirrel. Squirrels cannot digest cellulose and therefore usually feed on nuts, coniferous cones, and seeds. Squirrels eat seeds and nuts, as well as insects and mushrooms. Kangaroo. Kangaroos are native to Australia and frequent the country's grasslands, plains, beaches, and even golf courses. A female kangaroo carries its young in the pouch. Hippopotamus. An adult hippopotamus can weigh as much as 9,920 pounds and be 16.5 feet in length. The children enjoyed watching the hippopotamus wallowing in the mud. Elk. Elk are native to North America, weigh up to 1,100 pounds, and can be larger than 5 feet tall at the shoulder. I will try to smell like an elk. Rabbit. Rabbits sleep on average about 8.4 hours a day and sleep with their eyes open to respond to sudden outside movements. Carrots are good for the eyes. Have you ever seen a rabbit with glasses on? Fox. The fox is an animal that belongs to the canine family. It eats mostly insects, eggs, lizards, and birds. Foxes are wild animals. Snake. Some of the world's largest snakes include the green anaconda, Burmese python, and reticulated python, growing upwards of 18 feet. Some. Arctic wolf. The Arctic wolf is native to the North American Arctic and Greenland. It subsists on elk, musk oxen, and Arctic hares. Have you ever seen an Arctic wolf? Starfish. Starfish are known to regenerate their limbs if they lose them. Their digestive system extends from a central disc into their arms. Crocodile. Crocodiles are cold-blooded aquatic reptiles that live in tropical areas of the Americas, Australia, Africa, and Asia. Crocodiles. Bat. Bats are the only true flying mammals. Their wings are comprised of thin bones and a stretchy skin membrane. A bat is not a bird, but a mammal. Hare. Hares are different from rabbits in that they have larger ears, live solitary or paired social lives, and are self-sufficient from birth. It is not easy to catch a hare with your bare hands. Toad. Toads are not taxonomically different from frogs, because of their appearance they are colloquially referred to as separate types of animals. The toad has changed its color to blend in with its new environment. Frog. Frogs are amphibians of the Anura order of animals. 
They start life as eggs, then change into tadpoles, and eventually their adult form. The frog plopped into the pond. Deer. Deer are part of the Artiodactyla order of animals. They are native to Europe, Asia, Africa, and the Americas, and have been introduced to Australia. The deer population has increased substantially in recent years. Rat. The rat is an extremely adaptable animal that is nocturnal in nature. It is most active shortly before dawn and right after dusk. A rat squeaked and ran into the bushes. Badger. Badgers are a group of animals that consist of 11 species related to mink and otters. Badgers eat small birds, mammals, insects, and lizards. Watching a badger move bedding can be very amusing. Lizard. Lizards are a large group of reptiles that typically have scales, a small head, and short limbs. Some lizards do not have limbs and resemble snakes. A lizard can regenerate its tail. Hedgehog. Hedgehogs are animals that are distantly related to shrews. They have spiny backs and can roll into balls when threatened. Hedgehogs. Otter. Otters are part of the Mustelidae family and are related to badgers, mink, weasels, and wolverines. They feed on fish, but also crustaceans. Since 1977 otter hunting has been illegal. Reindeer. Reindeer are also known as caribou, they are native to northern climates and subsist on grass, shrubs, and low-lying parts of trees. I hope to see reindeer on my trip to Sweden. Rhinos have thick skin that looks like armor, but they're actually pretty sensitive and can get sunburned easily. So, they use lots of sunscreen, just kidding, they roll in mud to protect their skin from the sun. Rhinos mainly live in Africa and Asia. They love munching on grass, leaves, and even the occasional bush, making them some of the biggest and hungriest lawnmowers in the animal kingdom. Pandas have a special thumb made of bone and cartilage, which is actually a modified wrist bone. It's like having a built-in bamboo fork for their favorite mealtime. Pandas are native to China, and they're known to live in bamboo forests. They're not picky eaters, but their diet is 99% bamboo. So, you could say they're the ultimate bamboo buffet enthusiasts. Seahorses are such slow swimmers that they often hitch a ride on seashells or seaweed, just like underwater taxis with tails. Seahorses live in oceans around the world, from coral reefs to seagrass beds. And their diet? Well, they have tiny mouths, so they slurp up teeny, tiny shrimp and other itty-bitty ocean treats, making them the ultimate snack-sized hunters of the sea. Polar bears have black skin to help them soak up the sun's warmth, but they wear a white fur coat to blend in with the snow. It's like having a natural tuxedo for a chilly party. Polar bears call the icy Arctic home, and they're excellent swimmers. They're such seafood fans that they go ice fishing for seals, but they never forget to bring their own giant ice flow picnic table. Ostriches are so tall that if they played hide and seek, they'd probably peek over the treetops and giggle as they try to hide behind lampposts. Ostriches are found in Africa, and they're like nature's lawnmowers because they love munching on grass and, well, just about anything green. But watch out, they might mistake your garden for a salad bar. Pythons are such big fans of hugs that they sometimes squeeze their prey a little too tight. They must be practicing for a world record in hugging. Pythons are found in warm regions around the world, like the jungles of Asia and Africa. As for their menu, they're not picky eaters and will gobble up everything from rodents to, well, anything that fits in their mouth. So, they're basically the vacuum cleaners of the animal kingdom.
Throughout this incredible journey, we've witnessed some mind-blowing encounters with magnificent creatures. So, as we wrap up this amazing journey of exploring the wild, close encounters with animals, remember to keep that spirit of adventure alive. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep caring for our planet and its wild wonders. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, kids! Stay curious, stay wild, and remember, the world is a better place with you in it. Until next time, stay wild and keep exploring! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another thrilling episode. See you in the wild! Thank you for watching! Please, like, share, subscribe!